According to all accounts, William G. Crush, a passenger agent for the Katy Railroad, was just trying to figure out what to do with some of the line's obsolete 30-ton steam locomotives. Some had already been sold to logging operations, others had been sent to gravel pits. Still, there were plenty left that would just have to be scrapped. In the 19th century, the railroad accident was perhaps the most spectacular disaster that could occur. It seemed a day didn't go by without the newspapers reporting on a deadly rail mishap. It occurred to Crush that the Katy could capitalize on the public's grotesque fascination of this by staging a head-on collision using two of the old locomotives. The Katy could sell train tickets to the event and make a fortune. The locomotive's boilers contained high-pressure steam, however. If they ruptured during impact, they would go off like twin bombs, making the event too dangerous to stage. The men that built the engines, however, assured Crush this wouldn't happen. On the chosen day, special trains crammed with people headed to the event at a location dubbed Crush, Texas. A midway had appeared, and politicians decided it was a good place to give speeches. At 5 p.m., Crush, mounted on a white steed, waved his hat, and the engines were released. The crews opened up the throttles, then jumped off. The trains raced toward each other, and by the time they closed the one-mile distance between them, they had a combined speed of over 90 miles per hour. At impact, the boilers, for reasons unknown, both exploded. Chunks of metal flew from the crash, killing three people and injuring dozens. The remainder of the crowd, after realizing it has survived, climbed up onto the wreck to hunt for souvenirs and have their pictures taken. William Crush was fired on the spot. However, the next day the railroad decided it wasn't really his fault and he was rehired. Was anything learned from this tragedy? Apparently not. Public demonstrations of steam locomotive collisions continued to be done despite the danger, as this film from the California State Fair in 1914 shows. Fortunately, however, there were no more boiler explosions.